So let me warmly and cordially welcome each and every single one of you to our virtual learning platform, Infinity Learning Space. I'm not going to talk much about Infinity, neither will I talk much about myself. Me talking about myself is absolutely absurd. I want my actions to talk about myself. I want my students to talk about me. Actions speak louder than words. What is Infinity? That is the premier virtual learning platform in the country that provides recorded quality videos for all the subjects of chartered accountancy. You need not to come to classes. We come to your places. We create the learning environment in your study room. You can watch as many times as you need our videos, any number of times, no matter where you are, no matter where you are from, right until the date of exams, you can watch as many times as you need and you can succeed at the exam. I have been lecturing over 21 years, wow, long before I started lecturing for the first time in 2001. And what subjects do I teach? I lecture for three subjects. I'm lecturing three subjects at corporate level and strategic level altogether. CL2, that is a FARG subjects, corporate uh, financial reporting and governance. Strategic level one, I mean, uh, SL1 subject that is advanced reporting, advanced finance reporting and 55% of the financial reporting part. Also, I'm lecturing for SL2 that is CFRM, corporate finance and risk management. Now, I just thought of sharing some important tips with you all. What is it? I need to share why you should select our classes at infinity and finance related subjects conducted by me. Now you know, your life is just three letters in the English alphabet. You heard me right. Just three letters in the English alphabet. B, C and D. What is B for? Birth. What is D for? Death. What exactly is C for? Let me tell you in a little while. It's quite amazing that we need to manage between B and D in life, birth and death. When you were born, you were crying and everyone else around you were laughing. When we die, everyone else around us start crying and we start laughing. But C is very critical. What is C for? The choices. The choices you make in life will decide your future. The choices you make in life will develop and build and construct your life. The choices you make will destroy your life. Have you made the correct choice in your life in selecting the proper classes for your chartered accountants? I have seen some people in physical classes choosing to sleep at class, in the class. And that's their future. And I have seen some people choosing to stay awake all day long from morning to night. And that will decide their future. I have seen some people just dropping out of school soon after A-level and that will decide their future. I have seen some people Truly, in fact, I had the opportunity of meeting some amazing characters throughout my life of lecturing. And there was one student who had completed A level in mathematics and got selected to Morato University. He just dropped out of university and started doing chartered. He not only became a chartered accountant and produced many, he became a prize win. The choices you make in life will decide what your future will be. The choices you make will decide your entire life. And when you are boarded in flight, you will sometimes decide, you will sometimes choose to 
sleep. Some people will choose to watch a movie. Some people will choose to networking, just to talk with the people around. Likewise, in selecting the classes for ch chartered accountancy, in selecting the classes for CL2, in selecting the classes for SL1, in selecting the classes for SL2, please make the right choice and that will decide your future. And why should you select my classes at infinity? Come on, very simple answer to become a chartered accountant. Then you will start questioning yourself, why can't I become a chartered accountant by following classes elsewhere? It's like this. Why do you want to become a chartered accountant? You may have so many multiple objectives of being a chartered accountant. But the prime objective will be to earn. You need to earn. You may have so many other objectives, but the prime objective is to earn. Remember, before you earn, you need to learn. I need to add this single letter L in front of earn. Before you earn, you need to learn. What does learn mean? Learn means a lot. What really learn means is not what you mean, what learn means. And there will be a deeper meaning and a sense. Now L is very important and you need to listen while learning. Or whom do you need to listen to? You need to listen to the people who are competent in teaching. Whom should you listen to? You need to listen to the people who are experienced enough in teaching. Whom should you listen to? You should listen to the people who are qualified in teaching. So as I said before, I am teaching not just for the purpose of gaining experience in teaching. I started my career of teaching 21 years before in 2001. And also through the experience you can learn. You need to pay your attention in learning. You need to read a lot. You need to understand the subject matters, the technicality with nitty gritty truth and that is what you mean by learn. For you to get everything, you need to follow the classes CL2, SL1, SL2 at infinity. Come on. And this name of infinity, learning space, learn, listen, experience, attention, read. Get the knowledge with nitty gritty truth. That is what infinity is all about. Now let me tell you the unique features that distinguish my classes from the rest of other classes. Trust me hand on my heart. Over 21 years period, I have produced 23 prize winners from financial reporting CL2 and SL1 all together. That does not include any prize winners of AAT or CMU, anything else. I'm talking only about the prize winners of chartered accountancy, financial reporting, 23. And what are the unique features, salient and unique features in my program that distinguish my program from the rest of others? Trust me, hand on my heart, 100% syllabus coverage and comprehensive coverage of each topic. As I'm repeating always, I want you to drink the cup of the topic. It can be a standard right down to drink without just sipping the bubbles floating on the surface. No. We will go to the real depth of the standard. We will be touching each and every nook's corners, every nooks and corners of the standard, no matter how long it is. And remember, this is what we have been doing. Every topic, every topic will carry at least minimum 25 MCQs for each topic. So that you can practice right before the exam. Practice makes a perfect man. Rolling stone gathers no more regularly. 
you need to keep yourself updated by practicing MCQ questions and that can be the secret for the success. And we will be working out minimum 50 questions in consolidation. That is the bread and butter in your curriculum of CL2. And your success will be proportionate to the speed and the effectiveness at the exam. You need to complete a question like consolidations within 25 minutes. And for that, just by going through the standard book is not enough and you need to really work, you need to really practice. As I said before, practice makes a perfect man. The more you practice, the better the exam. And remember, these are not just empty words. We have been doing this. And this is what we are planning to do ahead also. And we are discussing past papers, not just three or two, not just five or six. And we are starting to discuss past papers starting from June 2015. Now, developing your writing skills will be key. Just by knowing the subjects alone is not enough. You need to know how to write the answers in accordance with the actions verbs and we have a separate session exclusively for action verbs to explain the action verbs and to develop the answers in accordance with the requirements of the action examine action verbs and we will be discussing minimum four mock papers before the exam and I promise I guarantee that I will finish the subject I will finish the syllabus well before the exam at least one month ahead of the exam I will commit myself I will guarantee that I will complete the syllabus one month ahead of the exam. And remember, this recorded videos will not be the ultimate solution. You will get bored. So will I. So we will organize and host some live sessions. What is it for? To discuss the past papers and also mock exams. We will be conducting live sessions to discuss past papers and the questions in the mock paper. Now remember, one of these days not long before, the renowned University Harvard has done an experiment to find out the most effective way of imparting knowledge. To the surprise of most of the scientists, they have found out that the most effective way of teaching and imparting the knowledge is telling stories. You must be listening, you must be interested in listening to stories. So am I. You will forget me. You will forget the subject. But trust me, hand on my heart, you will never forget the stories. Some stories are tragic. Tragedies. Some stories are comedies. Maybe I have to sing a song, poems. And that is how I will beautify my explanations. And most of the standards will be presented in form of stories. Come on. And then, if you have some problems, I'm pretty sure that just by watching the videos, you will not be able to get everything. Then and there, there may be certain technical concerns. And there may be certain technical issues. Why and how? Why should it be so? How does it happen so? And you need to get them clarified then and there. How will you sort that out? No problem. We have the solutions for everything. We will fix it. So we have groups, telegram groups, and you can join. And you can raise the questions there. Either you can call me or you can raise the questions in the telegram group. Then and there, we will sort them out. So this is how it works. Now, if you take the last 10 years or even 15 years as far as I can remember, starting as far back as in 2005, all the prize winners in ABR, except in June 2004, 2014 rather, were from my classes. 
If you take the last seven years, all the prize winners for ABR have been from my classes. It's not with an arrogance. I have a humble pride to say that. Only my students have become the prize winners. What are the unique features in our classes? Remember, I need to emphasize some important points. I have heard some students saying that they need not to learn the standard. Just by having the standard book, you can just go and write and score. They are complete myths. They are fallacies, misunderstanding. Then you need to buy the standard book and keep it with you so that you can take it to the exam hall. You can turn over the pages and copy the answer straight away from the standard book. And you can reproduce it as it is in, the, uh, in your answer script. Remember, that is not what ABR is meant for. They all are misunderstood. I raised that question, in fact, from the paper setter. Paper setter said, the examination being open book does not mean that you can open up the standard book and straight away copy the answers from the standard book. No. We will coach. We will tell you. We will teach you how to make the best use of the standard book in the class. I am explaining the standard by referring to the paragraphs in the standard book. And also as we write and develop the answers in the past papers, maybe in the mock, we will teach you, we will guide you how to make use of the standard in developing the answers. Don't worry about it. Once again, let me share the tips that have been conducive in making this program the best or making this program the most successful one. Once again, the 100% syllabus coverage, comprehensive coverage of topic. Now, say for an example, for topics like financial instruments, there will be videos of 20 hours. Yes, quite a big number of hours. And for certain topics like consolidations, for certain topics like revenue, for certain topics like leases, it can be 10-15 hours of videos and you need to watch everything. Why sometimes the examiner is testing not from the surface, testing from the core. The examiner is very smart and he knows the weaknesses of the students. And you cannot do just the selective learning. You need to do the comprehensive learning. And we are starting to discuss the past papers, starting from June 2015. And take my word as a promise, we will complete minimum four mock papers of ABR based on the pre-seen case study. We will complete the syllabus at least one month ahead of the exam. There will be live sessions once again to complete the past paper questions. You can raise your concerns and we can go for more clarifications. And if you have any technical issues, if you have any problems, any concerns, you can raise them in our Telegram group. There will be a separate session to explain action works and to develop your answers based on your action works. CFRMSL2. In fact, I am a diehard fan of this subject SL, SL2. Corporate finance and risk management. Let me share my plan of CFRM for this batch. 100% syllabus coverage. Comprehensive coverage of each topic. Especially areas like risk management. Uh, we will be organizing extra live sessions to extra explanations to make it more comfortable. And that is considered to be one of the hardest area in CFRA, risk management part. So there will be recorded videos, plus there will be some live sessions where we can meet up together. There will be an interactive session so that you can raise your questions. You can get me to explain certain gray areas. And that is for the risk management part. Remember, you will get a free revision program 
Vyadya will be 100 ACCA questions out of which 30 questions are case study questions and you need to practice all of them. You get it free. You will get minimum 75 hours of videos for theory and you will get minimum 50 hours of revision to complete all these questions or it can be more than 50 hours. It will be freely given. Now why? Is CFRM considered to be a bit of a tougher and a harder subject? Not that, it's the subject hard. And we lack the skill of applying our theoretical knowledge into a practical scenario and into the questions in the paper. Just learning the theory for CFRM is not enough. And you need to practice a lot. And from the practice only you will understand how to apply that theory into practical questions or practical scenarios. So that is what this revision program has been designed for. Remember, just discussing two, three past papers will not be enough. And you need to understand the pattern in which the questions are set. Some questions are really tricky, especially question number three, which is based on the pre in case study. So we are starting to discuss, commencing from June 2015 past paper and all these are not just empty words and we are going to deliver our promises. Based on the pre seen case study, we will discuss minimum two mock papers. For the past paper discussions and for the mock, there will be live sessions. And once again, some explanations will be through stories. And we will complete the syllabus minimum one month ahead of the exam. And these are just some successful tips which make or distinguish my program from the rest of all. Rest of all. I believe that we can start a journey from today leading to a good destination. And I just thought of sharing a small story with you. A man got lost in a desert. He had exhausted all his water he had carried a couple of days ago. He knew for sure if he doesn't get some water, he would certainly die. Although completely exhausted, the man didn't give up hope. He kept walking, looking for some sign of good fortune. Suddenly he saw a small hut at some distance. Couldn't it be a mirage or just a hallucination? But having no other option left, he edged closer, only to realize the hut was real. Gathering the last bit of energy left, he dragged his tired body inside the hut, hoping he could find some water. The hut was empty and seemed like it had been abandoned for quite some time. His heart kicked a beat when he saw what was in the hut. A hand pump. Water finally. He was overjoyed. He began to work in the pump, but no water came out. He tried harder and yet harder, no water. Finally, after putting in every bit of energy, he gave up out of exhaustion and frustration and sat down thinking, maybe I am destined to die out of thirst today. And then a second ray of hope. He noticed a bottle in one corner of the hut and it was filled with water and corked up to prevent evaporation. He uncorked the bottle and as he was just about to devour the life-giving water, he noticed a small piece of paper attached to it. The handwritten message read, Use this water in the bottle to start the pump. Don't forget to fill the bottle when you are done. 
he is now in a dilemma whether to follow the instructions and pour the water into the pump or ignore it and just drink the water. What if he pours the water into the pump and it doesn't work? But then maybe instructions are correct. Should he risk it? If it turned out to be false, he would be throwing away the last water he would ever see in his life. Have you ever been in a situation like this? That there are two options and uncertainty about which one will work? What will you do? Which one will you choose? Well, you have to choose one and be willing to bear the consequences that it brings. Many people don't decide because they are fearful of consequences and they continue to remain confused in their life. The man decided to take a leap of breath, leap of faith, hand trembling. He prayed and started working the pump. He heard a gurgling sound and water came out. Water came down gushing out way more than he could possibly drink. He drank the cool refreshing water to his heart content and quenched his thirst. He's going to live. He looked around and found a pencil and a map and he's far away from civilization. But at least he knows where he is and which direction to go next. He filled up the flask for the journey ahead and as per the instructions of the note, also he filled up the bottle and put the cock back in. And before leaving the hut, he added his own lines below the instructions. Believe me, it works. Most of us may not be confronted with a situation like this, where the choices made decides whether we will live or die. Yet, we have our own journeys to take our own choices to make. If the choices you make goes our way, fantastic. We can inspire people by telling them, believe me, it works. If it does not go our way, we can share our own mistakes and experiences and realizations and empower people to make their right choices. If you have still not made the right choice of selecting and choosing our classes at infinity, and if you have your own bad experiences of failing, please don't delay. Make the right choice so that you can inspire your friends and other people by sharing your success stories. We have the pencil, we have the map with you so that we can direct you where to go next and be a part of the winning team. Thank you.